everybody, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and we are going to play some ranked. Sandre, good luck. And we get a so so starting hand, not that good. But we have a little darkling and a brain lace. So use decay. Alright, so we'll be able to soul skill that. So now our starting hand isn't looking as bad as it was before. We'll stack one soul skill, I don't think we're gonna need two. Alright. So the plan is Loyal Darkling, Soul Steel, Curse Monger, and then we'll go from there. And then we can use that brain lice with the Curse Monger's curse. Very good then, very good. Okay. I do not want to lose because um I am still number one on the ranked ladder right now. PUQ is right behind me in second though. A lost position back. Eek. That's not what I want to see. Harvester. I don't like harvesters. Actually, I love having them on my side. But, you know. So, let's get you. But that means that harvester goes down. So, uh, curse monger next turn, and hopefully we'll be able to kill that harvester uh, with a curse brain lace once we get things rolling. Oh, he soul steals right back, but mwahaha. Is he going for a tempo theft deck? I think he is. What? Aging Knight. What is this? Um. Well, he's out of scrolls now. Uh. Da, da, da. Should I hit it? Should I brain lace it? I want to save the brain lace for that. Dun, 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 dun. You know, we don't like it. We're going to kill it. Okay. Yes, we got our own harvester. That's good. He has he's definitely playing a harvester tempo theft deck, which I'm not happy about. We're going to stay away from that harvester. He's not really moving it down. Another... Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna sack the curse monger now. Because we lost the brain line, so it's not a huge deal. You probably going to kill me. Um you back. And witch doctor next turn. Let's see if he has enough skill to make this guy attack that. What did you have to do? Probably have to move him this guy back to there. And then move this guy back there. And then put a creature there. So he just needs one creature to make that happen, which I don't think he has. Unless he's another one of those aging knights. And he's moving up with his harvesters. I'm actually happy about that. Um, I guess we have to go for the Witch Doctor. Alright, so a Damning Curse would be nice. Hopefully we don't draw it next turn with this card draw we draw, because then we're going to have to sacrifice it, and I don't want to do that. So let's draw a Damning Curse to deal with one of the Harvesters. And now I hope he doesn't sack for order because I don't know. I don't want to have to start worrying about tempo thefts just yet. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Alright, let's see what he does. I'm out of scrolls, so it's not that good because I. Uh, but I'm up to six resources already. He only has three. Searing shackles. Interesting. And he moves his both harvesters down? Yes. Eek. Okay, so that means I'm probably gonna move down. And he, uh oh. He's gonna soul steal. 
Come on. Uh, you don't know how much, how badly I want this damn curse, but I'm not going to. Please, damn curse. Necrogen. That could be interesting. We can kill one of them and kill that. Eh, we're not gonna necrogen. We might later on. So we're gonna run away. What is this guy? Searing shackles. Yeah. I can't run away as successfully. Um. He probably has transpositions in his deck, considering he has Harvester's Temple Thefts, but he can't do both in one turn. So... I feel kinda safe by moving that. Uh, let's move you down as well. Move you right there, so you spawn a husk. Put a life sealer up there. So I have more board presence, but... Those harvesters are very scary. So, a damning curse makes his har harvester in the back go off. So, I would assume he would damning curse my harvester, probably. Maybe my witch doctor. I don't know. Probably not, though, because it's searing shackles. And it's just not as good as my harvester at this point. I love searing shackles. And I don't even. I don't. I mean, I do have couple of humans here. We'll see what he does. He definitely has a tempo theft, but I doubt he's going to use it this turn, seeing as there's this thing. So now that thing is dead soon. If he separates his harvesters, like I'm, I, if I can necrogen and kill both of his harvesters, I'm going to do it. Because a deck like this, I mean, I'm just assuming he's running Tempo Thefts because I don't think I'd face him in ranked, somebody who's high ranked, to, uh, with a deck that's to K order without, uh, Tempo Thefts. So, I'm going to, getting those Harvesters out is huge. He has two early Harvesters. If I can take them both out, that will limit him the rest of the game. Okay. Go, go up there. Alright, whatever. Um... So I cannot take out both harvesters, sadly, but we're going to hope for, get a harvester and a breadlet, that's good. Very, very good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take him out, 5 damage to an idol, place my own harvester down, and a blight bearer. Okay, so now he just has to like soul steal or something to make um, his harvester grow. But now I have two harvesters, but even though he has one of his is at a one countdown, we're okay. I feel much better now. Now if, now if I can kill both his harvesters with the necrogen, I'm probably not going to do that. Because now that I have two, his guys are in the middle though. And he soul steals, so now... Is he going to attack the Loyal Darkling, or is he just going to take the top lane? Take up there. Hmm. Let's see what he does. That Witch Doctor is dead next turn anyways. Or I think next turn. But there's nothing else for him to soul steal because these guys would have just spawned a husk, and this would have, uh... You would, you, why would he soul, soul, soul steal his own creature if he doesn't have to? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> this he got this from the soul steel. Never mind. Oh, and he had that. Okay, so let's see. I'm usually not as good again at I'm usually not as good when I play uh like strange decks, like not normal rank decks. So I'm a bit worried here. Go on. Kill my husk. He's going to take out Metal Idol, interesting. So did not use all the stuff he could have done there. I could take out a Necrogeddon, I take out both Harvesters. Hmm. Let's keep it. Just in case. Witch Doctor, okay. Um 
Should I necro? Then I could take out that harvester and that harvester, and then I would just do three damage to an idol. Nah, he has two harvesters out. I have two harvesters out. Might have lower countdowns. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna sit tight. Yeah, I'm gonna sit tight. Um. There's nothing. He has nothing at zero count up to tempo theft, so that makes me feel better. I'm gonna move up now because now this harvest is already threatening. Like it's not really. I don't need to stay at the bottom. And I guess I'll play a witch doctor. And I'm gonna start my trek downwards. I'm a little worried about him taking about that middle idol. Now I am not in a good spot concerning idol damage. But. We can change things in a hurry with an Eckergeddon. The question is, do we want to do that? Okay, so... He cannot use a Tempo Theft to make his Harvest go up. If he Damning Curses, though, that would be extremely bad because... That means that... This guy would go off because one thing would die on my side, and then this thing would die because the one damage the Damning Curse takes. And I assume if he damage cursed, it would be on this guy, so then he could take out him and him with no us. And he doesn't damage curse. Very good. Now, what would be nice is a uh, return to nature right now. Then, I would kill both of these guys. My harvester would go off and kill one of these. Um, soul steel. We want to keep that, right? Yeah, I think we want to keep that. Um, well, so wait, let's just think. Wait, how much idle? One, two. One, two. If we Necrogeddon, we can actually get low enough to just needing a loyal Darkling. So I'm going to keep the Necrogeddon and sack the Retrisement. Soul Steel. Another Soul Steel that returns to nature. Damn Curse. That's sadly not good enough. Let's see, Necker get in. Both his harvesters go off. We'll be able to take out that idol. That idol. I think that dog runs a 4 0. No, wouldn't do that much, actually. I was just kidding. Um. Well, I'm gonna take out one of them. So. I got. Uh, and now I will go ahead and protect this idol. So, like, just for the lols? I don't know. Uh, sure. So now that the harvest is dead, we're in a much better spot there. But, he can tempo theft now. If he sacks her order, he can tempo theft that. And then th that doesn't attack, but his harvester does. And his harvester wouldn't be able to do that much damage. He would be able to take out these two guys. A husk would spawn. And then my harvesters would just attack and kill his harvester back and like wreck havoc. Oh, he doesn't he didn't tap with FPC sack for scrolls, so. We good, we good. Let's see what he does. Sandre. We got our three spectators right now. Let's see what he does. This his deck is a is different than um my uh my um harvester tempo theft deck. Mine has uh like I don't use um Crown of Strength, for example. I don't use uh, something else. I don't remember. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't use his, like, Aging Knights either. GG, is he surrendering? GG. Plus four, not bad. He was pretty low, so we didn't get that much. We're still in first. Let's marvel at our ranking. Yahoo. Let's see who was specting else. Let's see if any was special was there. Ooh, the 
naked warrior. Isle Sage, I know Isle Sage. Okay. Um. Yeah, so. You guys, take a look at my achievements. 100 matches. I've won like almost a thousand matches. I have a lot of achievements. I need that achievement. That will come soon enough. As when people just keep playing ranked, so we'll slowly get higher. Um, these hard AI achievements I haven't been really be doing. I'm surprised I haven't gotten this yet. Win a game by destroying all five of your opponent's idols in a multiplayer quicker ranked match. I don't know. I've just been. I've been playing mostly to K. Like you usually get that when you're like playing in that growth deck and you just god hand for the victory on like turn twelve. But I'll get that soon. I haven't gotten any of the bunny things. Um, I've gotten the celebrity thing, 20 user spectate one of your matches. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you noticed this one that I got. So I'll wait, so I'll five out of five. Here, the ultimate scroll deer reached the top of the rankings. Doesn't get any better than that. Challenge by Sandre. Here, I'm actually gonna go and like edit some videos and do some work out of this, so I'll decline that. Here. Sandre. I'll just tell him why I declined, because it's kinda mean just to decline the challenge. Um, it's my stats and everything. So that's cool. Etho right there. Um Look, we got we got Vex over here. Vex. All right, where where the guy? Where's Sandre? Here's Sandre. Um. Yes, yeah, so those are my stats. Uh. Sorry, can't play right now. Alright, so I thank you all for watching, and hopefully next time I'm still at this number one spot. So, see y'all next time.